Okay, Libra Rising, your dating and sex life. One of the things I really made to make sure I mention is that you have a Leo in the 11th house, standardly speaking. And this is the kind of energy where you can easily become famous or be attracted to dating people who can help bring you closer to fame, bring you closer to tremendous and immense power where you can broadcast that power to an audience that is larger than earth itself that literally reaches beyond the generations that are currently in existence to alternate life forms in one level the the amount of impact that you'll have in the type of dating relationship it will bring you a tremendous amount of power it will be very raw and you will be drawn to this but you got to be making sure that you actually cultivate that power internally yourself because the attention you receive from this type of fame based godlike attraction to whoever is what you need to again give as for praise for yourself there's going to be one of the most detrimental things for you as a libra rising to not get attached and aligned in that because again your 12th house is going to be virgo and it's going to be about humility and so i do want to say that you will in your real dating relationships attract a lot of enemies it's just one of the things going to happen but these enemies that you attract though they may be hidden in some ways with virgo in the 12th house they are actually helping you to humble yourself because of that fame that you're essentially guaranteed in a relationship you're going to be somebody in a famous relationship but you have to kind of take that keanu reeves type energy where as though he's famous though he's a philanthropist you don't really he doesn't flaunt that fame he just is famous you know him because you can't not know him he's just so big of a star and so this is a denzel washington kind of energy he's another libra rising Keanu Reeves is not, but Denzel Washington is a Libra Rising. So who doesn't know Denzel Washington? Who doesn't respect him as the king of the movie industry, right? That's that 11th house right there. That's that, that's that Leo energy, right? He's king of these spaces. No one is above him or better than him, not even Will Smith or anybody. You think Denzel Washington when you think movies. So just be careful and make sure that you have that strength, that inner power, because you will attract a lot of love admiration um but understand that not everybody really respects you for the truth of who you are right that's where your humility is going to be really really required to go back and introspect and realize that not everybody's your friend not everybody loves you some people are going to be here for a pass by that's when you really link back into your fourth house capricorn so go ahead and hit the thumbs up and the likes button early ladies and gentlemen this is your astro shaman inspiring brilliance with spiritual accountability and our memberships and all called practices helping you heal things like the kidneys true one of the sounds of libra now you can go ahead and take the fear out of the weak will power that we're going to talk about and discuss later in this video so thank you for hitting the thumbs up thank you for subscribing if you're brand new if you enjoyed this so far hit that thumbs up subscribe if you're brand new i love you let's get into it baby now when it comes to dating ideas you might be really interested in going to big galas big balls you know meeting with again politicians presidents ambassadors this might be something that you'll be involved in whether you like that or not what you're going to need separate from that is to have your home become a sanctuary a literal garden of eden that's going to be impaired if you're going to need more plants inside of your home and so give what you want to receive so give plants as gifts to other people give forms of nature and nurture to other people and that's because of all your earth houses in the water houses and that is you needing to bring the earth to your home because otherwise you won't be able to sustain some of these outings where you go out and you attract these public and powerful figures in your life who are going to want to date you who are going to want to take you from your wife they're going to want to take you away from your husband you got to get real clean and clear with yourself before all that stuff comes because you feel it deep in your blood in your bones um, but make sure you become that powerful person and make sure you really surround yourself with nature make sure that you have somebody that you can uh, physically be active with somebody you can have a, a very powerful sex life with full of intention um, because your seed in that seventh house that every seventh house that's your seed energy and so you don't really want to be having sex mindlessly you want to know what are we looking to manifest because every seed this very very powerful and you as a Libra rising you have to like take the time um, for yourself when you rise to think alone okay like you have to rise and think alone even if you like to rise and cuddle with your partner and that's a beautiful sensual pleasure that you can enjoy you got to have a very uh, beautiful home got a very very aesthetically pleasing home something where your home is going to be 
a mansion you got to be with somebody who's willing to support you with that equally so they're paying equally they're supporting equally to the home environment to that um very big ass home i mean if i'm being honest like when you move beyond the dating and sex life part like you're gonna have a big ass home so you need somebody that's gonna be able to help you contribute and help um manage what it takes to manage a big ass home you gotta have a cleaning lady you gotta have a gardener you gotta have you know s support doing your laundry these are things that when you're dating somebody you need somebody that's going to be willing to support on some of these things that we just said and make sure you give gifts okay you are a gift giving type person so um don't let your conditions really hurt you with what you give don't give without equal energetic exchange and don't withhold because of past wounds and hurts and pains you are you have the savior type energy in relationships so as an aries seventh house aries descendant okay libra ascendants really need to understand that y'all have a natural shadow self of wanting to save people and you might get in relationships with people who have men or women who have kids and you don't and understand the baggage that they might come with okay um because you have that amount of potent energy to support that much to support other people's kids to support but the reality is really so that you can support your own assets so that you can support support the dreams of your your romantic partner so that you can support the dreams of yourself and 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 y'all give in this balance format so something i feel like i had to add i couldn't leave it out um there's more and obviously take a reading um and i could help you understand that more specifically for yourself but thank you for hitting that thumbs up and that like button we'll see you soon all right, Libra rising. I have a lot of personal experience with this. In Vedic astrology, I am a Libra rising and 29th degree. So that's why a lot of me still resonates with Scorpio. But this is your dating and sex life for Libra risings, Aries descendant or Aries seventh house. Nice little flip flop. OK, Aries being naturally ruling the first house. Full disclaimer up front when it comes to the actual physical assertion of sex itself and activities of sexual relationships you're going to need to look at your mars placement that is going to show you the externalized form and i'm going to be able to help you more understand the internalized form which is what i'm always going to preach when it comes to sacred sexuality in the first place so we have a retreat coming up as well about sacred sexuality and intimacy so um this one feels important that said you're going to have Libra rising the moment to hit that thumbs up and give your boy a like early if you're brand new and subscribe if you feel like this video really hits you deep in your soul because that's my intention i got bells going off in the background getting those demons out and away from you uh we'll talk a little bit about your second house in scorpio and your eighth house in taurus today <coughs> so libra rising you're dating in your sex life uh one of the first things you need to know is you're going to go through a lot of different phases uh you're going to attract people who have tremendous willpower strength and confidence in themselves Okay, it's part of the Aries seventh house, and you're also going to attract people with a tremendously weak willpower and a lack of faith in themselves. And that's going to show you more of your Libra rising of where you lack faith in yourself. And a lot of that happens because when you're in your dating and sex scene, um, what you may not realize is you have a lot of earth energy linked and related to your subconscious as well as your past life and alternate realms, which doesn't really make total sense to earth but you will find a lot of stability through things like akashic record readings um when it comes to your past lives and why you reincarnated um and have certain relationships that don't feel real or they're real until they're not they're real until they just disappear out of nowhere and a lot of that is because all your earth houses virgo 12th house capricorn fifth house um i'm sorry capricorn fourth house and then uh who's the last one virgo capricorn taurus taurus eighth house what we said and so what you what you'll realize through things like this like dipping in your your past lives and your kashic records is your taurus eighth house comes to your dating and your intimacy and what you need from sexually speaking like whether you realize it or not you have in past lives given a lot of stability strength and sustainability to another person in a past life which is why in this life you're actually being asked to be very disciplined with your own physical body and especially within your sexual relationships to not give yourself so meaninglessly that's not going to work very well for you in this life not to give yourself based off of just the physical attraction of another person because they look good all right uh, because they, they they externally look beautiful that will never work for you on the long run maybe in earlier stages of life or maybe in certain stages of life after divorce or something like that that may be something you want to try out but you'll very quickly slingshot back in a dating and sex scene where you need depth 
And that's going to be very contrary to what people tell you a lot about Libra Risings, right? It's like, oh, Libra Risings, Libra in general is shallow. And it's like, actually, not with those houses there. You're very strong. You're very stable. You're very reliable. A lot of that's because your fourth house coming up in Capricorn. So some of your reliability is also some of your trap. All right. So do understand that. That's important to understand, like certain traditions that you've been taught uh, and you had to earn and work as the mindset um, through different responsibilities. You probably had a lot of responsibilities in your childhood growing up in that fourth house. And it makes you a very, very reliable and dependable person in your dating and sex life scene where you really do crave that security. That's gonna mean more to your emotional world and the dating and sex life than anything else. Like having somebody where that person has a very strong and stable career. And if it's not them, it's gonna likely be you where you have a very strong and stable career where you're making that big bank and you're climbing the status and career ranks. Now that may not be fully true to you and that's where i find like you're when you're in your dating and sex life you got to really look at your gemini ninth house and i feel like travel abroad and gaining uh universal truths from everyone in different societies other than your own if you are if you grew up in one place and you stayed in one place and you never really left the local vicinity of that place it's not going to work well for you okay if you if you grew up in florence italy and you know you've only really expanded a couple places outside of florence italy it's not going to work well for you. You need to leave Italy, okay? If you, you grew up in the United States, you got to leave the United States. You have to leave your boundaries and borders because um, social mannerisms, you collect this and they matter to you. And <clears throat> it's just never going to give you a deep peace. And that's what I feel like I'm going to step away from that for the moment. You need to travel abroad. You need to travel and get information from different societies in order for you to truly become um, independent and uniquely yourself now when i go back to aries in the seventh house your mars is really going to matter okay to understand this i've seen this with a mars in capricorn i've seen this with a mars in gemini uh, i've seen this with a mars in cancer and so each one of them have changed a little bit uh especially that cap cancer right very very different opposites cap being one of the exalted signs where uh you know your relationships really really matter and so you could get really caught in the business relationships I will say that you could want to really mature and advance because that's what you were taught in childhood with the Capricorn fourth house, like go and get the money, go and get the chicken. But in a lot of ways, money is not going to really matter to you as much, but you may be programmed to believe that. So, and what will really matter is to actually nurture yourself in that career space. Every time you step outside your house and, and the privacy of your own home, you'll be somebody who wants to go ahead and give nurture and care to other people, um, even to your enemies. And you'll find this very much like you will want to love and care for your enemies well past the due date, like a mother who has a bosom and feeds the baby, even if the baby is being a badass, even if the baby is going through its terrible twos, the mother's still going to nurture that child. OK, until further notice. Right. Um, and, and OK, you got to look at your moon to understand, like, OK, what's this nurturing really, really like? Because that's a whole different story. Like, I can't I can't tell you what the nurturing specific for you will be, but I could talk about the placements that what we know you can obviously come and book a reading and we could talk about your dating and sex life and what you're really going to need at a deeper level and a personal level so that's a possibility as you hit that thumbs up and that likes button if you're brand new again subscribe if you're a returning viewer i just want to take a moment to say thank you i love you so libra rising libra ascendant um you're going to naturally be a very very beautiful person okay very symmetrical but what you'll also notice is there are going to be certain parts that no one will ever really see but that will be non-symmetrical about you because this really shows that you as Libra rising, you're never really truly balanced. OK, um, it's a myth. What you're always trying to do is you're trying to balance, trying to find that perfection. And that's your subconscious programming of Virgo in the 12th house where you're trying to find that perfection. But that perfection is never going to really happen. So when it comes to dating and sex life, you got to really trust in the divine to help you uh, receive a partner. OK, this 12th house Virgo and that sixth house Pisces it's about two feminine energies in opposite spectrums about receiving right libra rising it's, it's uh aries in the seventh house these are opposites again so you're really a complete mix of a convoluted understanding of balance because you understand the opposites better than you understand the direct approach and what this looks like in your dating and sex life is like you will attract people and everybody 
Libra is open enemy. So you yourself are one of your biggest enemies. So understand that up front. But on your shadow self areas in the seventh house, um, your biggest enemy is actually authenticity. And that's why you're your biggest enemy, because you go through a lot of battles where you're not really being authentic and you're in a constant drive and have a constant desire to find that authenticity. But you'll realize that you can only really see that through the enemies that you project outwardly, which is your enemies inwardly. And that's, again, the hidden enemy of the 12th house in Virgo, where you just think yourself too much in relationships, scenarios and situations. And the perfect love doesn't exist okay there will be something about your divine partner that will not be perfect in the eyes of your programming and so again i i, I feel like you know if you're looking for a kashi record reading um check out the akashic singer eileen eileen akashic singer my partner she's somebody that can help you with that that's not my particular space if it comes down to healing i can help you with angelic reiki okay to help you heal some of those past lives but that's a different story so <clears throat> What's key is you're going to need to learn and nurture and love yourself the way you nurture and love everybody outside of your house. Um, you're also going to need to learn how to take privacy from the public and make sure you go inside the safety and security of your own home and actually recharge there with uh, methods and strategies of how you want to show yourself the persona and the image you want to display to the world. Who do you want to be? You want to make sure when it comes to you dating your sex life that you're not being polite in your relationships, but you're being kind and being polite and being nice is the way you might be manipulating others in relationships. And what you'll find is when you manipulate one, you get manipulated tenfold. And so that's something that you got to make sure that you're trying to do the best you can to focus on equal energetic exchanges. And the best way you can do that is to be truly authentically yourself. <clears throat> that's the only way you're going to do it. As long as you're not being truly authentically yourself, you're going to attract partners that will bring you war. Aries in the seventh house. They will bring a battle to your doorstep. Only innocence and authenticity and kindness, which is the willingness to say, no, I don't want to go to that party tonight. No, I'm not interested in going to this garden. Or no, I'm not interested in going to this party. I'm interested in going to the Japanese garden for this date idea. And if you're not being real about that, you will find that uh, Libra is a very karmic placement. So you got to kind of check your Saturn to understand what your karma going to be, depending on what it is. You know, I've seen this Saturn with this same placement. I've seen this Saturn in Capricorn and I've seen this same Saturn in uh, like Aries. I've seen this Saturn in I don't know where else. There's one more place. And so my point is um, your karma will be when you when you don't do right by yourself and you don't do right by others and you don't do right by your own emotional well-being in public aka setting boundaries learning how to actually um through the public's eye understand your own emotional world like that's something tough for you because um of your 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 fourth house in capricorn conditioning that 10th house in cancer it makes it very hard for you because again it's another one of the flip-flops so this is you as a libra rising trying to find equilibrium balance but you realize that you'll never find it without dating and relating with people who actually bring you joy and excitement and restore the innocence and also people who are tremendously confident the reason why you need this confident person and this independent person is so that they can allow you to be inspired and become confident independent and full of strength within yourself because you naturally grow up not very strong okay um, especially physically speaking because a lot of your strength is connected to alternate timelines dimensions and realities with that virgo 12th house capricorn fourth house if your ancestry okay your tribe shamanism uh different things like that uh people of your homeland that were basically alive for way longer than you ever existed or even was conceived and then you had that taurus in the eighth house where again a lot of your stability a lot of your uh, financial strength and dependence to generate your own income was by helping other people step into more power themselves and so you're karmically due other people to help you step into your power sometimes that will look painful if you only latch to the earthly reality of well this is this was just painful and it's like no this is not painful in the way you may be looking at it this was necessary and it's karmically due and owed to you because of the way you supported and helped the people in their past life so that's something very tough um, because there's a lot of thinking to do about that, right? Um, that's why, again, I recommend mostly an Akasha record reading because um, it may not seem so obvious and apparent to you as a Libra rising, you know, um, but it is. It's, it's very necessary. Um, now, when it comes to dating as well, you also look to Aquarius in the fifth house attract the fantasy. 
but are you willing to pursue the fantasy are you willing to take a risk on the fantasy are you willing to work on that fantasy or are you willing to only think about it and mastermind what it looks like okay and that's something that could be very destabilizing for you in relationships if you only look at the fantasy part of it and that's something that Aquarius can do you have to in your relationships make sure you take a lot of time away away alone for yourself to actually not just one meditate but to listen to God to listen to your angels they're always talking to you when it comes to what risk to take and what risk not to take whether in entrepreneurship whether in your self asserting responsibility to love yourself and to give yourself the attention you'll find that you'll really crave a lot of attention from other people in your younger more immature stages and that attention that people give to you will become something that is feels very empowering but it's actually very debilitating and it's what contributes to your weak willpower Libra rising I'm sorry to say it's what contributes to your lack of faith in yourself because Aquarius in the fifth you have to take that time away from all of the spotlight the sunlight and understand for yourself through each experience and dissect um, your own like your own strength from a methodical and logical standpoint where it's like okay this just makes sense even if it doesn't make sense somehow it makes sense especially because my angels told me and that will help you really detach from any ideas you have to do when you're dating a sex life and realize that God gave you the idea to go ahead and message that person. God gave you the idea to go ahead and not have sex with that person. And what you'll realize is when you step back away and separate and do your own isolation, your own cave, you'll realize like, oh my God, like God was looking out for me and I heard that message and I didn't listen. Or God was looking out for me and I heard that message in this dating scenario and I did listen. And look at the outcomes. That's something that Aquarius can do. It can mastermind the outcomes. So just realize that that's an active participation that you have to do because fifth house is something where you have to assert yourself. You have to, it's an action based and driven house and the house of the masterminding and fantasy and um, really the, what, what you will, you will have destabilizing romances. That's what I want to say. Okay. But it's not going to be forever. It's only to get you to the closest form of perfection that you can, which is that Libra 12th house. So hit the thumbs up and a like button once more. Um, I really enjoyed this. Uh, if you have feedback, I can go further in this. I can go forever, but I feel like for right now, this is a good point to let y'all digest that. Um, and I want to say thank you for hitting the thumbs up and likes button. This is me finishing the series. Join our membership. Check that out. If it's something interesting to you, you want to learn astrology, you want to learn how to create your own series and become an astrologer yourself, that's something that you can go ahead and check out. And uh, I'm excited. This is the end. That's the bell. Hit the thumbs up and likes button. If you're brand new, subscribe. If you really enjoyed this, drop the Libra scale down below. Let me know that you're going to step into to more faith and belief in yourself you're going to step into more courage and belief in yourself all right and let that be the divine justice that you're owed from all those past lives that we talked about thank you for the thumbs up i'll see you soon this is your astro shaman inspiring brilliance all right with spiritual accountability and all called practices that's when you join our membership and learn more about that see you soon love five five five